Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Mathematics. Really interesting question today, in the same way this is like relaxing question, we have 3 plus 3 divided by 3 and 2 plus 2 in parentheses. So on the first side this is very easy question, but a lot of students do this common mistake and I'm going to solve this question correctly step by step. But before solving this I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself, right here we have 4 options, so you can easily check your, your school knowledge, your algebra skill, or it doesn't matter what skill, but you can easily check check this knowledge for you, maybe you will find the same answer in the end of the video, it will be really great. So here is our question, here is our option, so pause the video and try to solve it by yourself, it will be really interesting to check our answers. Okay, first of all I will write this question, so we have 3 plus 3 divided by 3 and 2 plus 2 in parentheses. As you can see we have a lot of operations, we have, uh, we have addition right here, so I write addition, we have division right here, so the second math operation, and we have multiplication right here, and we have addition in parentheses. So as you can see a lot of combination right here, so we can easily start from left to right, addition, division, multiplication, we can start from uh, division, multiplication, addition, so as you can see with these five elements we can uh, combine a lot of combination right here, so what we need to do at first, here is our main question, divide at first, then add, then parentheses, then multiplication, a lot of combination right here, and we need to know what is the correct order to do this problem, because obviously whatever order of operation you select is going to create a different answer, Right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. Yeah, because if you start from addition, one answer, if you start from division, another answer. In math we are interested in, in one and correct solution, we cannot solve it like uh, two answers from to one question, yeah, we cannot do that like that, so we need to know what is the correct order to do this problem. And for this question I had this PMDMC order of operation, this is the most popular order of operation in the world, all internet libraries, scientific, graphing calculator works according to PMDMC. And I will solve this question according to PMDMC, and uh, I would say that I respect every order of operation, for example, board mass, uh, but I know that uh, the most popular is PMDMC and a lot of country works according to PMDMC, including most popular internet libraries and internet calculators. Okay, PMDMC works from the top to the bottom and let's go through the steps real quick and let's solve this correctly, okay, because we need to know what is the correct order to do this problem. So the first step, parentheses, okay, we have this parentheses right here and let's look at it, maybe we'll have parentheses right here in our question. So we have addition, division, yeah, right here we have parentheses, so it's, it's really great, because we need to start from these parentheses, so this is our this is our first step. So 2 plus 2, this is our first step, and everyone know that 2 plus 2 equal to equal to 4. Okay, 4 right here, and this expression from the beginning, so we have 3 plus 3 divided by 3 and times 4. So after first step we have we have this expression, which is really great, so right now we don't have any parentheses, so we absolutely complete this part with, with parentheses. Okay, the next step. What about exponents? Let's try to look at it in perspective of exponents. Maybe we'll have like exponents right here. No, we don't see any squares, cubes, we don't have any exponents, so which which is really great. So we just we just skip this part so we don't have any any exponents. Okay, the next step, multiplication, and a lot of students do this common mistake, they start from this multiplication, because according to PMDMC we need to look at it as a group, yeah, maybe some order of operations start with this parentheses, but as I told before I will solve it according to PMDMC. According to PMDMC you need to look at it as a group, so multiplication and division, this is one common group, so we need to scan where do we have multiplication and division sign. Okay, let's look at it. So addition right here, right here we have division, so we, we are interested in this sign, and we have multiplication, so our second step, after parentheses, because we don't have exponents, is to solve this expression with multiplication and division part. So we have multiplication, we have division, okay, let's let's solve this part. We have multiplication and division, but here's our main question, what do, we do, what do we need to do at first, multiply or divide or divide, then multiply. All, all, all over the world people discuss about this step, first multiplication, then division, first division, then multiplication, but, but as I told before, I will solve it according to PMDMC, and according to PMDMC we need to look at it in, in, in the next perspective, we need to look at it what the first sign from left to right. So right here the first sign from left to right is this this division, okay? So we need to start from this division, and I would say doesn't matter, it will be like multiplication, we need to start every time from the left sign, in our case this is d division. So 3 plus 3 divided by 3 equal to equal to 1, and we have times, times 4. So we completed this division part, and as you can see we have multiplication part right here, which is really easy to solve, because 1 times 4 equal to equal to 4. So as a result we have 3 plus 1 times 4 equal to equal to 4. 
we don't have subtraction, we have only addition because this is our addition part, so we can easily solve our last steps, 3 plus 4 equal to equal to 7, which is option, option D. So this is a very tricky question, I hope your answer is the same as mine, but definitely don't feel bad, maybe we will solve it in another order of operation. But as I told before, I will solve it according to PMDMC, you can easily check this answer in the most popular order of operation right here. And I, I, I think you will have the same answer as mine, so we're, here we have answer, answer, this is option D, this is, this is 7, is a correct answer to this question. But forget about this wrong order of operation, if you start from addition, so from left to right, so you solve the, the problem as, as this problem type it in, so from left to right, just forget about this solution, because this is very bad solution. And work this, work, solve this problem according to a order, a correct order of operation, whatever order of operation you find in your country, just solve with this order of operation. I solve it according to PMDMC, I respect this order of operation, and I respect another order of operation, it's just about the popularity of this uh, this this uh, order of operation. Okay, so thank you for your time. Have a great day. I wish you all the best, and I hope you understand this explanation. See you in the next videos.